Hello everybody and welcome to this video that will be covering how to play Rosalina in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate for beginners. Uh, pretty much this video we will be covering, this is part 1, we will be covering her neutral ground, neutral air, and smash attacks. Part 2 we will be covering her special, grabs, and other tricks. So please watch part 2. Uh, so let's begin about Rosalina. So Rosalina is from the uh, Super Mario Galaxy series. There's currently two games and they're really good so you guys should try it out if you haven't played them she uh plays a role in the game but she's not to be rescued kidnapped or anything she is just there as a guide as her own story because you know she's independent she owns galaxies and all the lumas she's the mother of the lumas so hooray uh rosalina is a very tall character she's a lightweight character but she does make uh, a big great amount of damage in the game. Uh, we're not going to be covering any differences from Smash Brothers Wii U to Ultimate because it's kind of irrelevant if it's your first time playing uh, Smash Brothers Ultimate so you can do research later on. Uh, let's see at this moment since the game is brand new there's not a lot of players playing Rosalina at the moment so there's not a lot of gameplay for other people to see what tricks and you know new things she can do in this game but surely with time uh, the YouTube videos will start coming out which that would be great as time passes by um, speaking about Luma so Luma uh, and Rosalina are the puppet character meaning that Rosalina fully controls Luma as far as what to do and without getting any damage herself so meaning that Luma does damage, and if someone damages Luma, it's not going to add damage to Rosalina. The uh, other thing is Luma acts as a shield most of the time. Luma uh, does die after a certain percentage, and the respawn changes all the time, so I'm not going to be covering that. Due to the updates that Nintendo does on Smash, so just keep in mind that Luma does die after a while. Luma does respawn, I would say like 14 seconds at the most, or currently. And then the other thing is Luma has a lot of colors every time it respawns. And the last thing, if Luma gets hit and it doesn't touch the ground, then it would fall down and die. That's pretty much how Luma works. Uh, and then the last thing about Luma is if Rosalina is like being uh, is being grabbed or in stun mode because the shield broke or whatever, Luma can still move, which is amazing. Uh, let's see so yeah so let's get started on this video here alright guys so in this video we will start with her ground neutral as you can see here she is this is her ground neutral and you can hit one attack or you can hit three attacks and do a combination so you hit another hit and then an upper hit and uh, these are very helpful if you're trying to interrupt a character from doing a charge attack or whatever, you know, just interruption. That's pretty much what uh, Luma does best, which is really, really great. The other thing uh, Rosalina and Luma do is this infinitive spinning thing. Um, as you can see here, you know, it's still going even though it's not touching anything. Rosalina and Luma are still hitting. And I'm not sure on this game, but I think the Luma spinning goes through the, or cannot be stopped by the Bayonetta uh, weave attack, which is kind of funny. Alright, so right here, this is her forward tilt, and in all the attacks you're going to be seeing, or watching I guess, Luma and Rosalina hit uh, together, one before the other, or uh, vice versa. Pretty much any attack that you do will do double damage, or double the amount of damage I guess. This is her up tilt, and she, Rosalina has a halo, and Luma just hits straight up. 
so depending on where the character is, you know, if it's falling down, if it's on the floor, if it's going across, you could, you know, potentially do a lot of damage or just some damage depending on how it hits and who is hitting or if both of them are hitting. Right here is the down tilt. So the same thing, this is very useful to throw opponents off the edge from preventing them from getting up, interrupting, uh, Luma, I think, where Selena hits first and then Luma pushes further. The charge attacks. So this one right here, you can do the, the neutral one. You can do the one you aim up, down. All you li literally do is just at the end of the, before you release the button, just either uh, angle it up or angle the control stick down. Alrighty, her up charge, her up smash charge attack, uh, pretty much the same thing, uh, Luma hits, or Rosalina hits first and then Luma, or, let me see, hold on. Yeah, Rosalina hits first and then Luma, but pretty much at the end of the day since they're together, they do double damage and then this KO's really well. And if you notice right here, we're gonna do the smash up attack. And you can see that Rosalina hits behind her. So this is something to keep in mind that just because the character is in front of you doesn't mean it is not gonna hit behind. This is her down smash attack. And as you can see, regardless of which direction Rosalina is facing, she will hit both ways along with Luma. So Luma hits one side and then spins the other way and hits as well. Uh, this move right here is very helpful when you're on the edge because if you get touched by the heel or I guess the foot, it can uh, kill you right away. Alright, her nair. So this is pretty much kind of weird in a way because nobody can really understand <laughs> how to properly use this. I mean, you can use this to get characters off you to interrupt, um, but it has two, in slow motion right here, you can see that Luma hits forward and then back. However, Rosalina with her wand, she only hits one. She does two attacks, but whichever attack hits first and then the other one will not hit. So as you can see here, Luma is hitting uh, Samus. And then there's nothing in the back, so obviously it won't hit anything. But with Rosalina, if we miss Luma's attack, she will hit with the wand, but not the second. So we're doing the same thing. We're hitting the first wand, nothing again. We're missing the first hit, but then the second one does hit. So this is something to keep in mind. right here is her forward uh, air, aerial attack and pretty much Luma hits once and then Rosalina uses this galaxy kick that pretty much is invincible to a lot of things, the majority of things, there's a few things that do go through but once you're touched by that galaxy you can see that it hits multiple times doing multiple damage which is pretty nifty and you can also use this if you do it correctly, you can uh, do these jumps all the way across the stage. And if you're able, you can throw the character off the stage and kill him. The other thing right here is the back here. And pretty much Rosalina hits first and then Luma. So this move is used a lot to prevent characters from getting onto the stage, which is really helpful. Especially those characters that cannot jump properly like Little Mac or Incineroar or Cloud. Uh, the up throw, where I guess up here, um, same thing is very useful. The down, thre down throw air, I'm sorry guys. 
same thing, it can spike, it can kill, it can do all kinds of things, especially because it hits with the Halo and then Luma or whichever way it hits. It really just depends on where you stand and on the stage and where the character is, the weight, the height, the percentage, everything. Alright, this is her dash attack, and it looks kind of funny, but pretty much what happens is Luma hits, I mean, Rosalina hits first and then Luma, so when you do this, you interrupt what the, what the, what the character yeah. opponent is trying to do. Alright, and here you can see her run, her walk. It's pretty good compared to other characters, you can get, you know, fast from one side to the other side. And then the last thing is the crouch. So it looks kind of weird, kind of funny, but it is helpful. Especially if you're trying to prevent characters from getting back on the stage. Or if you just want to do that and look funny while you play with someone online. Alright guys, so that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I will give you a preview of what's coming up on the next video. Remember that this is my solely opinion and I'm just trying to help out people out there understand how Rosalina and Luma can be played with. Uh, please leave a like, a comment, and enjoy the upcoming videos, clips. Uh, right here you can see the charge, Luma, the star bits, which is the side B, the side uh, down B, which is a gravitational, so it grabs all the items, and it uses them right away. Also, you can absorb all the charge shots, which you can do no damage to yourself, excluding Luma, but you can also use those to attack other characters around you. The up B is very tricky to master, but once you have it narrowed down, you will be able to fully recover without dying. And then the other things we're going to be covering is the uh, lunar landing. So pretty much when Rosalina lands, if you time it correctly, Luma can still attack. So that if a character is trying to, you know, hit you, whatever the case is, it's going to get surprised by Luma. And you can do the forward lunar landing and then the back lunar landing as well that can be followed by grabs combos and so on the last thing we're going to talk about is about the rosalina and luma grab that pretty much was uh, luma hits in right immediately after rosalina grabs so you can do this while the opponent is standing up or laying down on the ground it, is, it does take a lot of time to master, but you can do this with practice. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, uh, please be nice. Thanks so much, and please check out part two. Thanks so much.